What's good, YouTube? This is Austin Sweet here, and you're watching the Sweet Life of Dakota in Austin. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And I just want to first of all say sorry for no video on Thursday. I had to do something. But anyways, um, today we are doing my thoughts on. This is episode three of my thoughts on. And today is a very special episode of my thoughts on because this is a special debate episode. I'm going to be debating. We're going to be debating about old school rap versus new school rap. I'm gonna tell you what I liked about them and what I didn't like about them. So I'm just gonna give you guys my personal opinions and that's that. So we're gonna start with old school rap. Now old school rap got its start way, way back towards like the, 19, the early 1960s, going into the 70s, into the 80s. You had up-and-coming rappers. You had Curtis Blow. You had the Sugar Hill Gang. You even had Run DMC starting in 1983. Like, all, like, and all those guys could rap. Everyone from the 80s can rap. Whether you're Grandmaster Flash, whether you're Eric B. and Rakim, whether you're Smith & Wesson, like, that's old school right there. Like, the, like Tupac, Biggie, 50 Cent, even though he's more new school. The Game, um, Young Jeezy. Um, but back in the day, before rap turned into what we have today, you had rappers that had, you know, diss tracks. They put out, um, they had some rivalries with each other. Take Tupac and the Notorious B.I.G. They had a long, smoldering rap rivalry right there. And plus, like, some of the rappers back in the day got their name or got their start in the 1980s. They got their foot in the door. Even in the 90s, like, you had, in the 90s, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, they collabed on a song called Nothing But a G-Thang, and that was Dr. Dre's. That was like a big, big song for Dr. Dre. Even Dissed Easy. Now, back in the day, like I said, that was when Diss Tracks was popular. You, you, you even had new rappers coming out with new stuff, like Buster Rhymes. He put out his first album, The Coming, released in 1996. And plus, some of the rappers got their foot in the door because of, the, because of their typical classic albums, like... Nas with Illmatic, Mob Deep with The Infamous, Dr. Dre with The Chronic, Jay-Z Jay with Reasonable Doubt. Everyone should know about those albums. Everyone should know about them. But back in the day, you had rappers like Tupac, The Notorious B.I.G., Wu-Tang Clan. You had Dr. Dre. You had MC Ren. You had Ice Cube. You had Easy e Ice-T. Eric B. and Rakim. Run DMC. Grandmaster Flash. Public Enemy. Criss Cross. Beastie Boys. Cypress Hill. House of Pain. Ant Banks. Loonies. Warren G. Nate Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Like, those are all household names. BDP, Boogie Down Productions, KRS-One, Bounty Killer. Like, those are all old school names that everyone should know about. Like, that's old school rap right there. Now, let's get into the new school stuff. Half the stuff these days that we're getting today is not, it's not rap. Like, I think the only good rappers that are still going right now are Eminem, Joyner Lucas. Um, but you've got so many talented rappers. Like, talented rappers. You have, like, Kendrick Lamar, Ski Mask, The Slump God. You have Schoolboy Q. You even have... Um, YBN Corday, like, new rappers that are trying to get their foot in the door. They're trying to make them na a name for themselves. 
even the late XXX Tentacion. Now, I don't listen to XXX Tentacion. I don't. I don't listen to that. But what really killed rap, the new school rap these days, it's normally mumble rap. Like, I think Migos does mumble rap. Um, 21 Savage. Like, there is hardly... There's hardly any lyrical rappers left. Like, I know Eminem can do it. Jordan Lucas is a lyrical rapper. J. Cole is a lyrical rapper. But you have so many new rap artists that can't rap. And they, and they call their stuff rap music. Like, if you're gonna rap... For... If you want to rap, your rap needs to have some flow it needs to be smooth it needs to make sense and not only that but the words need to rhyme but it's just these new school rappers that freaking tick me off because they think they put out like one song they're gonna get their foot in the door it's not it's not gonna get your foot in the door it's, that's not how you that's not how you make a name for yourself in the world of rap music you need to get your foot in the door the right way and I think the only rap artist I got his foot in the door on his first song was uh, Juice World with the song Lucid Dreams. Um, but what really killed rap for me, and we're going to cover this in, in, in a future episode of my thoughts on, was Takashi 6 9 I don't like 6 9 at all. His lyrical game is weak. And I'm going to get some major heat for this. His lyrical game is weak. He repeats half the songs. <clears throat> he drops so many bad words in that song. I can't even repeat it. That's what killed rap for me. Was 6 9 If 6 9 wasn't around and we didn't have any of those new rappers, rap would still be what it was in the golden age. But 6 9 freaking ruined rap for me. He did. I mean, I don't care what anyone says. I'm entitled to my own opinion. Like, I don't like 6 9 at all. That's the only rapper I don't like. I don't like 6 9 I mean, his lyrical game, like I said, is weak. It's weak. He yells in most of his songs. And what he's normally saying makes no sense. So overall, because of what 6 9 did, I'm kind of sort of a fan of what we're getting today. But if I had to choose a side, I would have to go with the old school rap. It had lyrical rappers that could literally rap. It had um, rap groups that got their foot in the door, got a name from themselves. The diss tracks were better. Um, so overall... To sum it up, old school rap is the way to go. If you want to listen to some rap, I'd really recommend some old school rap. I forgot to mention with the artists too, like, I forgot to mention, like, today you don't hear names. Like, you don't hear familiar names that ring a bell. You don't hear EPMD. You don't hear about DOS Effects. Public Enemy, Rakim. Any of those names. You don't hear them anymore. So, overall, I'd have to go with old school rap. But I want to hear your guys' opinion. Which side are you on? Are you old school rap or new school rap? I'll put, like, tags in this video, like, hashtag old school rap, hashtag new school rap. And let me know in the comments below what you guys prefer. And that'll do it for this special episode of My Thoughts On if you enjoyed this video, be sure you hit the like button, leave your comments, and above all else, subscribe. I'm sorry I wasn't able to put out a video Thursday. I had, I had something to do. But today, but tonight, you guys got this video, My Thoughts on Episode 3, a uh, special debate episode. So if you enjoyed it, be sure you hit the like button, leave your comments, and above all else, subscribe. Tap the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next video, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace and game over.